This is State Senator Andrew Chesney coming to you from the Capitol here in Springfield. We have illegal immigrants and migrants that have come to Illinois because of J.B. Pritzker and progressive Democrats. They have rolled out the red carpet, the welcome mat, and they've said, come to Illinois. And so no surprise, they're coming to Illinois. And so part of the bills that we're filing are going to address the travel arrangements for illegal immigrants and migrants in our communities. If they want to go back to their home country, here's your flight. We'll send you back home if you've had traveler's remorse. Perhaps there's other states that are more accommodating, like California or New York. We simply don't have the money, it's not in our budget, and we can't accommodate this red carpet welcoming center that J.B. Pritzker and his progressive Democrats want to accomplish here in Illinois. And we know this because we see this in the budget that we're going to be putting forward in 2024. We simply don't have the money. We need to put the citizens of Illinois first, those that in many cases have lived here for decades and generations. We need to make sure that we're accommodating our veterans, our most vulnerable, our seniors. And we need to also acknowledge that we can be an empathetic and welcoming state if it's done so legally. And lastly, I wanna talk about just the simple costs and the impact that this has on you, the taxpayer. See, we've seen a trajectory of going from just a few million dollars to nearly a billion dollars in costs of what we are spending on migrants and illegal immigrants. One of the challenges is we're not even able in many cases to ask the question. We cannot go to the taxing bodies and simply say, how much are you spending on a migrant or an illegal immigrant? So we have transparency bills that, that Senate Republicans are proposing to try to bring some visibility to the situation. But we also recognize that spending over a billion dollars on illegal immigrants and migrants from healthcare to travel to driver's license to legal accommodations. This comes out of your pocket. This comes at the expense of your roads, your services, your, your, your weight on hold to a government agency, your tax structure, your property taxes, your sales tax. All of this puts pressure on your life. And so we can fix this if we acknowledge that we need to prioritize in Illinois. We need to put families that have lived here for generations, that have called Illinois home for a very long time. We need to put those first. And we need to recognize that doesn't mean we don't have empathy and compassion for somebody that seeks a better life. But we also need to recognize that we have to prioritize those that have done this legally, have done this the right way and also continue to advocate on their behalf as well, because that is the overwhelming majority of people that live in Illinois, those that have done it the right way and continue to call this great state home.